All right, you watched one of my videos. You were able to grow your webos and got the courage to do your walk over there, and boom. Now you don't know how to act. Now you're here. You're like, hey, my name's Jose, and now you don't know what to say. So today, boys, I'm going to help you out in this latter part. I'm going to help you out in what to do and how to act once you have approached the girl. Let's hop into this. One, bring her a notch down. Like, literally, bring her down. And not to her face, but in your mind. See, I'm not telling you to verbally tell her, yo, you're ugly, you're not all that. No, no, no. I want you to do that in your head. And it's a psychological effect. See, what happens is most guys will approach a girl, especially if she's pretty, and in your head you're thinking, this girl is a goddess. This girl is perfect. I would do anything for this girl. Automatically, the dynamic has switched. You are now a fan, and this girl is a celebrity. This girl is this girl is on a pedestal, and you will approach her in that energy. I want you to bring her down a notch. I want you, when you approach her, you think, man, I am the prize. This girl would be lucky to have me. All right, let me go see what she wants. Yeah, it's a little bit vain. It's a little bit cocky. You're not going to actually say that, but you're going to think that to hopefully balance the scales. And now you're seeing each other equally. Now you can, now you can relax. This girl's not that perfect. Number two, dress your best. This is one of the best ways to accomplish the previous tip. See, if you're wearing your best garments, it's going to be the best way to uplift your confidence. So now you're thinking, man, I look good. I look good. This girl's lucky I'm even going to talk to her. Now you're feeling that energy as well because you're wearing something that's your favorite fit. You know that first day of school fit that you plan it out the day before. It's perfectly color coordinated. Everything's on point. When you wear it that first day, you feel like the man. I want that energy every day. This is why with essentials, that's exactly the energy we pursue. See, when I design essentials, when I sit down and sketch these collections, I got one goal in mind. I want my dudes to look as attractive and as confident as possible, which means that when you throw one of our basics, you're not overly thinking, man, like, how do I color combinate this? How do I match it with this? Nah, nah. You're not doing all that. Instead, the essentials, because they're designed as basics with versatility in mind, you can literally go on the site right now, shop with your eyes closed, and whatever you pick, I guarantee you it'll color, it, it'll match. I guarantee you it'll look good together. That's how versatile our collection is, and that's how easy I want to make it for you to dress well. There is a reason why hundreds of thousands of men have tried essentials, and I don't know why you haven't yet. I think you need to try one of our basics. And by the way, remember the Tesla giveaway that I was doing? First of all, that was our largest sale we've done, right? And I knew because of the Tesla giveaway, some of these orders, insane, right? 40 pieces, 50, like insane amount of orders. And thankfully, we ordered a crap load of product. I don't know if you know this, but there's supply chain shortages. And last year, we were planning for these shortages. So what we did last year is we took all our profits and we just bought insane amounts of inventory. That way we can be stocked up and not have to wait six, seven, eight month lead times to get the new shipment in. Thank God we did that because this, is, this has been the largest we've ever done. And I still don't understand why you haven't checked out Essentials. And by the way, if you did shop Essentials, today's the 31st, which means in 12 days, boys, so April 12th, I'll be doing the live stream on this channel picking the Tesla winner. So it'll be live. I'll show you the orders that we had that, that launch weekend. Uh, we'll randomize them and then we'll randomly pick a number and whoever that number is, that'll be the winner of the Tesla. And then I'll live stream me giving away that Tesla. So I'm gonna live stream the whole thing and that's gonna happen April 12th, so mark your calendars. Number three, ask her a question. See, once she's opened up or is more receptive to you, she is more likely to like you because now she's helping you. If not, when you came up to her and asked her a question, she would have just blown you away. And now you know, you know what? That girl stuck up. It's not even worth it. You can ask, you know, where's the nearest Starbucks? Or are there any good book recommendations? Or, you know, how, how many guys have hit on you with free drinks tonight? She's going to say, nah. she's gonna, she'll say, say something. And then you'll be like, well, this one will be your last. Boom. God damn. Now I'm giving you pickup lines at this point. The point is using questions is a great way to get her to open up. She gives you a response. Once she does, now you know she's receptive to you engaging with her. Stays on to number four. Cut down the chit chat. I want you to get straight to the point. This reduces the chances of you looking like a fool or stuttering or, or making the situation awkward and also respects her time. She's, and she's probably in a hurry. She has her own things to do. So when you start talking to her, she'll think in her head, yo, why is this dude talking to me? When is he going to leave? And when she's in that mentality, she's more more likely to reject you. But if you get to the point as quick as possible, now she'll see, yo, you respect my time and your chances of getting numbers will increase. Number five, never come on too strong. Most guys try to overcompensate for their lack of confidence and they come across as arrogant or aggressive. See, you don't need to come on that strong. Instead, when you're talking to the girl, slow down your movements. 
slow down your speech. I don't want you to move too fast. I don't want you to be too jittery. This makes her shield up or tense up because she doesn't know you. Remember, you are a stranger. So you want to make her feel at ease, which means relax. Slow down your speech. You'll avoid stumbling or stuttering over your words, and you're going to look super confident controlling the flow of the conversation. And number six, leave on a high note. This is the strongest thing you can do. Remember how I say cut down the chit chat? Well, the point of that is I don't want you to bore her. I don't want her to get to a point and think, man, when is this guy going to stop talking? Instead, you want to start talking to her. You, draw, you, you, you ask her the question. She gives it back. You get right to the point. And then after that, you can be like, yo, oh, you know what? I have to run. I have to catch an appointment or go into a meeting or do this and that. And now you look busy as well. And you'll say, yo, I'll catch up with you later. And now you've respected her time and you've ended on a high note. So now she's thinking, yo, that guy was kind of attractive. He was super confident or he was funny. All she'll think about is that positive high note because you didn't stumble or screw up along the way. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. You follow those six steps when you approach a girl and your chances of success will jack up. That's it for your boy. See you next time.